Hey guys, so today I am actually replaying a stream from this past weekend where I went in and did ICC. My reason for this is because I wanted to talk about how I made gold in this expansion. Since Warlords came out, obviously things have changed. You're not able to make gold the same way if you were doing auction house sells as you could in previous expansions. And yes, it does suck, but there are definitely ways around it. One thing I don't like doing is dailies. I hate doing dailies. I am not really fun on questing. Um, I just kind of like get annoying and I'm like, oh, this quest again. I do enjoy going in to get the story and learn everything about it. But then once it just becomes repetitive, I really don't like doing it. So I've come to the same conclusion of let me find something else to make my gold. And one thing that I do do is go back to the old rates. Mostly the Wrath and the um, Cata raids I go back in. It's really nice. I clear them all really, really easily. I can solo them, not a problem. And there's a couple of reasons why I do this. Obviously, you get the benefits of getting a mount or a pet to drop. You also can go in and get achievements that you didn't have before. But we're talking about gold. So I go in and I clear everything. As you can see on the screen, I'm clearing useless trash that I could have walked around very, very easily. And I get everything from them. Then what I do is I take the greens. The greens, I go over and see which one has a better chance of dropping the infinite dust. Then I disenchant that. Anything that does not drop infinite dust at a high rate, I sell. I just vendor that along with all the other useless crap that I'm not going to use, especially all of the purples that come off of the bosses. I don't need them. Then I take all of the infinite dust and the cloth and I make cloth or frost weave bags. I'm sorry. Those are gold because everybody always needs bags, whether you're making an alt or a tune on another server, and they sell for decent prices. Plus, if you go in and you get a lot of cloth and a lot of infinite dust, then you're gonna be able to sell more bags. So even if it doesn't really sell that well, you're still getting a decent amount. Now, I'm gonna use my best example because I know exactly about the figures that I get from it. Nex, I go in and I can clear Nex, in anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. That's every single boss, every single piece of trash. And I can make anywhere from like seven, 800 gold to a thousand gold, depending on 10 or 25, and obviously how many greens that I'm able to disenchant into infinite dust, or whether I even need to disenchant anything to infinite dust. And then obviously you have the bags that you can sell on the auction house, and then Nax drops three different pets. So there's a chance at getting those and selling those on the auction house as well. And depending on your server, like my server is a very low pop, but I can sell them for like three to 700 or 700 gold a piece, which is great. And if you run it, it takes you about the same time as dailies. You get a, a lot more gold from it and you don't have to worry about gold for a while. Or if you do it every day, then you can save up if you want like a special mount that costs a lot of money. It works perfect. Plus you get the achievements and a chance at mounts or go in and do what like ICC has the old quest for the weapons. You can go and do that. That's just how I make gold and I wanted to share it with everybody else. If you have a different way that you go about getting your gold for the in game, please leave me a message in the description box below and let me know exactly what you do. I'd be interested in finding out. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to check out my Twitch channel, I do stream regularly every Monday and Wednesday night for my raid and alternately throughout the week. And that's Nieces350Z. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and happy farming.